hard to keep track of the names. I bet you've probably never heard of the SQF complex. It started back in late August when all the rest of them around here at home from the lightning strikes. It's been going for a while. But this afternoon, it took off. Take a look at the high-risk satellite. Look down at the KPIX5 bug and then just look immediately to the left of it. It will spotlight where the trouble is. If you watch it, you can see a couple of flashes of white on there showing you another one of those darn pyrocumulus clouds. In other words, the fire is burning so intensely hot, it's throwing a huge plume of smoke into the atmosphere, which is then getting caught in the prevailing winds and, in general, heading our way. Impossible to say exactly how this plays out, but all you have to do is look at that and say, well, we know how the last have gone. That's likely going to be an additional layer of smoke that gets thrown our way. If we look at the way the air in the upper levels is behaving right now, clearly the streamlines want to bring that smoke our way and wrap it up to the north. But I do have some good news here. That says right now, I'm going to play this ahead into tomorrow and watch the direction change a little. That's tomorrow at 1.30. Not all that far off from when the 49ers want to start playing a game tomorrow. And at that point, we've switched the flow in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That could be some good news. I'll talk to you more about this coming up in the complete forecast. But before I give you back to Brian and Juliet, let me just show you the current air quality readings. They're red. That tells you we are still in the very unhealthy category, Bay Area wide. Not a good day to be outside if you don't have to be.